I am J Dog John Harshboom, and I'm out here with Mr. Dave. Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope things are going well in your garden. Let's say hello to our newest fans, shall we? <laughs> to Shaman Quester out in Aragon, Oregon. You know what Aragon is? I don't. I believe it's Shaman Quester. Shaman Quester. Shaman Quester. Sorry, Shaman. Uh, and we don't know where Aragon is. I do not. Know I, where I, 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 is that Eastern Oregon? I think so. Tell me if I'm wrong. And to Erica Dunn out in Vancouver, and Rob Russell, and Dream, Jean Christufek. Is that right, Mr. Dave? Christufek. Yeah, he's, sure. he's okay. He's saying it. And Rebecca Davidson. Hi, guys. Hope it enjoy. I hope it brings something good for you. Let's talk about some insects, shall we? Very interesting insects because we're starting to see some guys. As the temperatures warm up, by the way, that's when we'll start seeing some insects coming around. Of course, you've probably seen some aphids um, very, very early on. They're, they, they, they're, they attack right away. But I want to show you some spittle bugs, shall we? Let's take a look, okay? <laughs> I'm looking at a Wygelia tango, by the way. This is a great shrub. Wygelias are, are great ones, too, if you want some uh, good blooms. They've been breeding uh, Wygelias uh, for their leaf color because after the blooms, then we're left with this really the dark, um, why would you say bronzy look to it? Now, spittle bug is a, a funny little bug in that it leaves this, it looks like someone spit on it. And what was, that, what was the um, botanical name on that spittle bug? Uh, Philagra parva. Yeah, Philagra par parva. Is the, is the, I don't want to say botanical name, is the scientific name on spittlebug. What they do is they'll start chewing in on your plant and they'll use their juices to, to, to create this spittle, should I say, and that helps protect them from predators, helps them keep them moist, and, um, and so they kind of cocoon in there while they're doing their damage. But let's take a look to see if we can't find some of that actual spittlebug, because they do move. They'll take right off. Let's see here. Is that one right there? Yep, yeah, there he is. You see that? They're kind of a they're kind of a horned, what do they call it? A horn shaped or kind of a... Uh, like a rhino. A rhino. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like kind of a rhino. It's that little light green dot right at the end of my pruners. Can you see that? There he is. There he is. Now, what to do about these guys? There's a couple of them. Here's another one. It's also called the frog hopper because what they can do is jump pretty well from, from leaf to leaf, from shrub to shrub. Then they lay eggs in the middle of summer. Uh, what we want to do, though, is make sure we treat them so we don't get that, uh, don't get that spill bug all over. It sucks up all the nutrients that the plant needs, so we want to make sure we get them pretty quick. Now, we can hit it with insecticidal soap. That should do it in, dries them up. But an even better remedy would be using that Bonai Garden Grow. It's that shaker can that we use for the hanging baskets. Same stuff. What we'll use is a couple of tablespoons right in there. It's a granular. And some folks get suspicious. They, they see the bug and we've got this instinct. We want to hit it right now. We want to kill them before they ruin our shrub or our flowers. But patience, patience. Throw in that, throw in that granule. Water it in takes care of it. It'll, it'll take it'll take care of any chewing, sucking insect. Keep it nice and clear. Of course, that one we don't want to use on our vegetables. Vegetables we want to use insecticidal soap. But we're going to go over that. Um, show you some insects on that. Anyway, I hope find, hope you find that helpful. Here is the quote for the day. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Thank you very much, Aristotle. That's the show. Always live your passion. Is in the right.